welcome to eternal easy education in this session you are going to learn chapter 2 adobe page maker content of the session is character formatting so you are going to learn how to format the character using adobe page maker regarding character formatting the content given in your book is First, we have to select the character dialog box. Character formatting means displaying text in a certain way. We are going to change the style of a line or a word or a paragraph. Character formatting consists of text properties, bold, italic, underline, font type, font size, font colors. I hope you all know about these, what is bold, what is italic. You will be well versed in your MS Word. If it not so, no problem, we can learn in Adobe. Steps to apply character formatting to text. First, we have to select the text. Then we have to take the option character in menu. Or we can use the shortcut control plus T. Then this dialog box will appear. Here we can select. By seeing this you can remember your word. What is font, font style or font name. What is the size. What is the leading point. What is the space between the characters. These, are, these things will be here. So ready? We will do it in Adobe. Yes. So this is Adobe window, file, new document, so size, page size is letter, so we will change to A4 size, ok, so this is the page, this is the black border, this is the margin, this is the margin, then this is the paste area, this will not come in the printout. So these are the minimum things you must know regarding the page. Then this is the ruler, horizontal ruler. This is the vertical ruler. From this ruler, I can just you keep the mouse on it, plus and drag, you will have a line. This is said to be grid line. If you don't want, again you press and move it, it will go. It will be useful. And for next uh, sessions, I'll explain what is the use of this grid line. Now. We are going to see about the character formatting. For this, we must know this text tool. So, press the text tool or select the tool. Press and drag. A rectangle will appear. I am typing a word as Tamil Nadu. Are you able to see this? You are not able to see this. Yes. See the, take the menu view. Fit in window means the whole page will fit to the window, what we are seeing. But actual size will give the actual size of the content in the page. And this is the preview what you are going to get in the printout. So, it is very small. How to change the text? That is our requirement. So, we have typed. The tool is in text. Can you see the mouse in a line shape? Now you take this arrow. Click on this. So you can move the text anywhere you like. Just this is only for moving. We cannot change anything using arrow tool. Go to text tool. Select the text. Selection means keep the cursor or the tool arrow here. Press and drag the mouse. Now, you can change the font. We can change it as Arial Black, which is in the book. So, Arial, Arial Black. Then the size is given as 60. I am changing the size and press Enter key. Make it as normal. Can you see it is in double line? So, how to make it a single line? Click the arrow, select this, just increase the 
length of the text. It is very easy in Adobe than in Word. So text tool, select the text. So these things we have worked out now. Here there is a point. If the control palette is not on the window, we have to select, we can take the control palette using the menu window. See here. Here, this is said to be the control palette. This palette will change the properties based on the tool what we select. If I select arrow, it will change to some other properties. If I select the tool, it will change. Regarding the tool what we are selecting in the toolbox, the properties in the control palette will change. If it is not here, how to take it? Go to window menu, control palette show control palette it will appear shortcut is see the shortcut control plus single apostrophe control key plus single apostrophe so it will appear so we have learnt these two points how to show the control palette in the window using menu or using shortcut key then we know font size, font style, bold, italic, underline. Apart from that, there are many things we will see it now. What is small cap? How to change the color in the text? It's very easy. First, I'm selecting the text. This is normal. This is bold. No, we'll take it as Arial. This is normal, this is bold, this is italic, this is underline. Reverse, I'll explain later. Reverse in the sense it will reverse the color as it now you cannot see this because the color is changed. Now strike through, then I'll take the underline also. Make it as normal. See here, small cap. Capital letter. This is also capital letter, but the size is small. All cap means everything with the same size with capital letter. Then subscript, superscript. It will be useful for writing the equations like x squared plus y squared equal to 10. So the squared means it should be in the up superscript as we learnt in the word. This is a subscript. So if you want a letter in the down, you can use it, this subscript. If you want it in the up, you can use superscript. Then select the word. You can increase the size. Uh, that means the space between the characters. Another thing we can do is we can increase the space between the line here. Can you see the space between the line or increasing? See the space, how much space. Mm. You can even decrease. Can you see this? Two lines are looking like very near. So, many things are possible with this.
I can change the space between the two lines. We can change the space between the characters, uh, single letter, so make it up, superscript, subscript. So these things are said to be character formatting. How to do this? First we have to type, then we have to select the text tool, then we have to select the required text, then you have to apply these things. Another one method is type and character. So this is also one method. Same options which is present in the control palette is given in this dialog box. Okay. So regarding character formatting, you must know what is control palette. Using control palette, you can change the content. Next one is using menu, type menu and character option, dialog box or else see the shortcut given control plus T. So if I press control plus T, it will come. Next one is how to change the color that is using color palette, show colors, it will show the color palette. Here, select the text using the text tool. Select a color. So I can even select a single character and change the color. So this is the method to change the color. One of the method. Is it clear children? So we, you have learned what is, uh, what is the thing we can do with the control palette. What is the thing we can do with the color palette and the menu type using the option character dialog box. So regarding character formatting, you should know all the three points. That is what given in your book. So you have learned the concept of character formatting, which is given in your book. Try this in your system. Thank you. Have a good day.